Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of ball mastery drills. I'm gonna to touch on why I think young players should be focusing on ball mastery drills predominantly, and also touch on a little bit about when we should do ball mastery drills and why I think you should master this round ball. Let's get to it. So what is ball mastery? Ball mastery is essentially the practice of technical skills within tight spaces with or without context during training sessions. However, ball mastery drills are usually drills that tend to be that tend to have the player isolated and unopposed from their opponents. It places a massive emphasis on the player's ability by fixating on the technical skills required in football. Essentially like my old coach used to say, the tools you need to be successful on the soccer pitch. But ball mastery doesn't just focus on the basics. Ball mastery training allows the player to be able to manipulate the ball using the varying contact surfaces of both feet. This helps players become more comfortable and knowledgeable on the ball, helping create a better understanding on how they control the ball in many different situations. Ultimately, players with complete ball mastery tend to have a superior ability to protect the ball, are more comfortable on the ball, and are usually more confident to take on plays. So this moves me on to what this video is all about. Why ball mastery is important for young players. Ball mastery can be invaluable for young players, particularly between the age of five to eight years old, where their instinct is just to boot the ball once they receive it. As I said before, those who are more confident on the ball tend to protect the ball and hold onto the ball more longer. This means that, particularly within that age range, kids with a superior technical ability tend to love the game more than their peers who are not so advanced. This essentially has a lasting impact on whether or not they continue playing the game. So another question that has been a heavy talking point regarding ball mastery is when we should do ball mastery drills. Well, to answer this, we need to be looking at the player's needs. If we are coaching players ranging from five to eight years old, then ball mastery should be a must because they're still fine tuning and developing their foundation skills. Now, I may be wrong in this, but in my opinion, I think that kids should have the ball at their feet at all times at least 80 to 90 percent of the session and to achieve that you need to be having ball mastery drills going on throughout the whole entire training session the way i like to run my training sessions is predominantly focusing on ball mastery drills in a fun and interactive way and after around 90 percent of the session is done towards the end we'll play a modified game a common misconception that is spoken about amongst coaches or it's just a heavy talking point is that ball mastery drills don't really have an importance in training sessions. They believe more so in a let them play philosophy where they like to set up environments where they can where players can just express themselves. But here's when things start to get tricky for some players. Remember that story I told you about my old coach who said that you need tools? No, not that type of tool skill-based football tools that a player needs to be successful on the pitch. Well, how is a younger player who doesn't have those tools going to be able to be successful on the pitch when they are playing small-sided games? Now, don't get me wrong, I do believe kids should be playing games as much as they can. However, if they don't know how to control the ball, if they don't know how to be successful with the ball, if they don't know how to protect the ball, then it's going to be very hard for them to play those games. Therefore, I do believe, particularly based off the player's needs, there needs to be a proportionate amount of training that focuses on ball mastery drills in a fun, interactive and engaging way. When players get older, let's say 12 years and onwards, they need to start learning the game from a tactical standpoint. Even the simple things like knowing where to pass, knowing where to position yourself on the field, knowing when to make certain runs are just some of the qualities that even professional footballers don't even understand today. Additionally, as a coach myself, if I'm coaching an 11 aside team, the last thing I want to be doing is running only technical or ball mastery drills during training sessions. The importance of implementing the vision and philosophy of how a coach wants to play and wants his team to play, particularly with that age range, should be his number one priority. However, this then leads back to the player's needs. Are they able to do certain things that the coach wants them to do based off the tools that they have? This is because there's gonna be 
fundamentals like passing or dribbling that are intertwined in these tactical sessions and if you can't do those then it's going to be very hard to execute them on execute these tactics on game day so for example if you want your team to play out from the back and your two center backs can't pass then you're going to have a big issue so if you're a player that's looking to play professional and feel like you're not as confident on the ball as you should be and you feel like you're not ready to be partaking in team training sessions, I would highly recommend that you commit to ball mastery drills. Ball mastery drills can be done anywhere. Let me tell you a story about none other than the man, Cristiano Ronaldo. Walter Di Salvio, his old fitness trainer at Manchester United back in 2008, said that he would stay behind and head to the back of the complex at Carrington, which was Manchester United's old training ground. De Salvio said the woodland terrain was so uneven and Cristiano Ronaldo would actually go at the back of the complex and just boot the ball into the terrain and chase after it. Once recapturing the ball, he would dribble it back towards the complex, controlling it among the undergrowth, which would have been extremely difficult. And clearly, it's improved his ball control to the standard we see today. As mentioned, ball mastery drills are usually go-to exercises that you can do even in your backyard that provide high reward with consistency and patience. If you made it to the end of the video, I thank you so much for being here. This is the first time I've ever done a direct face to camera video. So please let me know how I did in the comments below. And also don't forget to